We should have had a dust attachment on the end of the vac, on the vacuum cleaner, uh, and that way it would protect the coils better than just taking the end of the hose like what LP did when he was cleaning the coils. Uh, so also, we should have checked and made sure after LP did what he did here, we should have made sure that the fan was still running. The fan was running, and um, then when he was doing the coils, uh, he realized, once he went over toward where the fan was, he realized then that um, we had not unplugged the fridge, which you should do that, number one. You should unplug the fridge before you start doing anything like this. Uh, so, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's what uh, took place there. So, you can see the dirt on the coils. Uh, seems to me the last time that we... Uh, pulled the fridge out and cleaned the coils uh, that the drawer, the freezer drawer, wasn't getting the cold air. I had it packed clear full, and I don't know whether I was maybe blocking some vents at that time. I probably was, just having it uh, completely full. I'd recommend not having it more than um, three-fourths full maximum so that you, you're sure that you're not blocking any of the airflow into the freezer, uh, you know, back and forth in the freezer, too, because you need that airflow, and there's vents in the freezer that you can't block. And so I probably had them blocked. And then uh, it seems to me that there was water in the pan uh, in the back here, and then there's like a tube. It could have been, too, that the tube that goes down into this pan, um, that uh, maybe the tube was uh, maybe clogged also. I'm not really sure. I just can't remember exactly. But uh, whenever you do this, you ought to check the pan. Uh, it's just a small pan that is um, to the left of the coils. And then there's this plastic tube. You can maybe just check those things and make sure that um, that, that tube is cleaned out. Because it seems like that might have been what the story was with um, the, the last time. And I probably also had the blocked vents in the freezer. So you have to be sure not to block the freezer and the refrigerator vents so you have that cycle of flow, even flow. And there's the pan that I was talking about, and there's the plastic tube. Uh, it looks dry. The pan looks dry, and um, the fan rotates. So I think, and, and it's still working, um, and, but you have to be careful not having it too full. You get that pan, you get that um, drawer too full. And then you're going to have trouble. Hey guys, I'm going to try to do a quick video. i got to get stuff back in the fridge. I just wanted to tell you what happened uh, with, the ref with the fridge. It started making a sound. It still worked. It started making a sound. And um, it had these vents blocked. And the, uh, the plastic bags that was in this big drawer right here, um, they, um, some of them had gone over the top and they were blocking these vents. See, there's two and then there's a third back here. And you really want to be careful about putting plastic bags in this large drawer. And also, people have had issues with this glass, um, this glass here. And you want to slide it forward some see how i have kind of like a lip over this support system there and uh and you want to get it out of the corner back there so that um you don't want to try to have it all the way back like that and then try to lift it up you've got to get it out of the corners because you could break the corners of it and uh, and pull it forward and support it and leave it in the fridge because see you can lift it up keep it in the track and clean the top and the bottom. And then you really need two hands when you slide it back in place. 
when you slide it back in place, you want to support it from the bottom. And um, I'm going to try to do this with one hand and try to slide it in place. And I, I really, I just can't do it with one hand because you need both hands to move it. Well, there it went. Uh, this is a perfect design uh, for um, the stuff to go over and down, under, and block the vents. That was an ingenious way of designing so that you can hurry up and buy another refrigerator. So here's the big shelf. And it, it was a, it difficult to get out. I kind of lifted up on each corner uh, of this because it's got a little bit of a play in it where I was able to um, uh, to get it out. So I'm going to get this back in and get the food back in. Hopefully it's not the food's not spoiled. <laughs> That's it guys.